Now let's take a look at actually recording a MIDI clip and how to do that. Now if you have access to the project files, go ahead and open up MIDI editing again from scratch. We'll start new. And what you may have not noticed so far is that here on track 4, we have an empty clip. You can see when I select it, there's no data down here. And also that the track is armed for recording. So if you have a MIDI device or a drum machine pad or something along those lines, you will be able to record at this point. But what I want to talk about is that sometimes it's difficult to click the record button and then get recording right away. What you can do to make it easy is to double click in an empty clip slot. By double clicking, then you create an empty clip for working with. You can set its length over here. So I can set it to two bars. And then I can record into that so that the length is already preset. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and go to the one that I've had in place. Now one thing that's very important to remember as you go to do this is you have to enable overdub mode. As far as live is concerned, this clip has been recorded, so we are actually going to be adding in or overdubbing additional MIDI information. So now when I launch this clip, you can see that the launch triangle becomes red, letting us know it's ready to record. And so if I play my MIDI keyboard now, we should be able to hear that. But it's still a bit of a challenge until we turn on the metronome. So we've got a basic kick and snare going on there. I'll find another sound. I've got a close hi-hat here on this note and a ride if I want to add them. Let's go ahead and enter into record mode by launching it again. Okay, so now we've got a basic pattern, but notice some of the things that have happened. I'm going to stop now and launch again. We have no kick drum here. And the timing of some of these notes is not very accurate. I'm going to go ahead and select all or command A and press the delete key on my computer to remove all those. What you want to do, another thing that Live has done to help us out is it's got quantized recording. So we come down here to record quantization. Again, under the top, edit, pull your mouse down to record quantization and choose a value. So for now I'm just going to have eighth notes, so I'm going to set that in place. And now it will automatically correct the timing of what I record. Let's record again. Clicking on the launch button. So notice now I deliberately played two short snares and two long snares. Let's listen again. Now while it's running I can add in my hi-hat again if I want to. Now I missed one so I'm just going to wait. And I played it badly, so I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to copy one of these over for time purposes, holding down Option and copying. So now you can hear that my pattern's got a basic idea. And we've recorded it in. Now this note over here is a little bit long. It actually wraps about around. So if I click on this, I'm going to delete that and play. I can actually lengthen any of these out, We've just like anything else. And so that's the basic process of recording something MIDI. Again, in the preference section, we've discussed how to connect your keyboards, etc., and get them up and running with Ableton Live. But now we just want to see how to get recording going. So again, to review, we had an empty pattern we created by double-clicking. We made sure the track was armed for recording. And again, the double clicking allows us to preset the length. 
Then we came up to edit and set a global quantization to help us keep our time correct. Anytime you want to practice, we can turn overdub mode off, click on play, I'm checking out other sounds. So I want to add that in while it's playing. I'll go back into overdub mode. Actually, I'm fine. So you can create your own patterns easily, stopping, coming out of overdub mode. And now we've got all this layered in. You can practice by coming in and out of overdub and create your own patterns. That's a quick look at recording in MIDI.